the Armour All Summer Grill. Your off-season fix of V8 supercars news and views with Grant Rowley and Cameron McConville. Today's Armour All Summer Grill video looks at the testing program of the car of the future. Yesterday we spoke to Mark Scaife about its implementation in 2013. Today we're speaking to V8 Supercars Motorsport Manager Adam Perry about the prototype testing. Adam, just give us a bit of an overview of where the prototype program has been this year and what's left to do at the start of 2012. Well, as you can see, we've got two cars now complete and running on the track. Um, we've completed uh, over 4,500 kilometres of uh, on-track uh, testing with the Ford, probably about 700 with the VE, which has pretty much wrapped up uh, what we call the validation of drive line. Obviously, we'll do more as we go. Um, but uh, further testing this year, we've, we've pretty much done. We've moved through the first phase of tyre testing, which we're really happy uh, with the, um, the outcome that we, we got from the tyre testing, which gave us a good uh, direction of where we want to go. So Dunlop are now off making another set of tyres for which we can use um, in the, the February testing next year. Uh, and then post that we'll start to do some brake and, and aero testing, which will complete the whole program. But the cars there are virtually ready now. We're, we're, we're at a point now we can hand the, the designs over to the team straight away. So, in fact, we've already started to do that. Uh, some of the CAD and drawings are on their way to the teams now. They're starting to prepare to, to commence build. So, mate, the project, uh, in essence, is pretty much over. There's some uh, final stuff to do. Um, but uh, I think, as Scapey said, a uh, 1,000 days, it feels like 10,000. But... Um, you know, look, really been proud to be a part of the whole process and, uh, you know, I think what we see there today and what we've been involved in through the whole process and the testing and now the delivery is, has been an absolute pleasure to be a part of. How challenging has it been throughout the testing program to keep the teams involved but keep it independent as well? Oh, look, you know, the, the teams are always very inquisitive of anything that's going on engineering-wise in the category and, and you know, uh, you, you get that but, you know, there's a point where you can only do uh, effective testing without interference and so to some degree we didn't encourage uh, involvement but you know we had a technical team that were involved from the outset um, they were always engaged in what we were doing along the lines but in the end there was a, a small test team of people we knew what we had to do um, and it was really basic testing anyhow Stefan you know um, the cars out of the box without a lot of tuning are, are quick so um, what we're going to hand over to the teams is, is a, a new car that does effective lap times as what we've got today, and I'm sure they will be developing a much faster car over time. That was V8 Supercars Motorsport Manager Adam Perry. Now it's a big year for the V8 Supercars teams next year. Cam, the guys have got to build the new car of the futures as well as running the current generation cars. A big year for them. Oh, it is, and certainly the, the bigger resource teams are going to hit the ground running, aren't they, in 2013 with the car of the future. Uh, also expense, I mean, I'm all for saving costs and that's what the car of the future predominantly is all about. But the amount of spares and tooling up that the teams are going to have to do, and also that the current cars are going to become redundant, sent down the line to Fujitsu. So it's an interesting transition phase and you'd have to think cars that perhaps struggled or teams that struggled in 2011 uh, are not going to suddenly make big you know, steps forward in 2012 because they're going to have it at the back there, that car of the future. So uh, a transition year, but uh, I think uh, the hype in the second half of next year is all going to be about car of the future. It'd be great to see it out on track. Rick Kelly and Mark Winterbottom are two of the current V8 supercar drivers who have driven the new car of the future prototypes. Stefan caught up with Rick Kelly in Sydney. Rick, you've had a steer of one of the prototype cars down at Winton and Phillip Island. Tell us what it was like compared to the current generation cars. Yeah, well, it was pretty exciting. It's always a great opportunity to drive um, different sorts of cars and obviously a fantastic opportunity to drive uh, the car of the future. So the first day there at uh, Phillip Island was pretty wet in the morning and we did a couple of laps in the wet. Uh, a little bit hard to feel in the difference in the wet, obviously, because we didn't have a good back-to-back -back with uh, our normal cars. But as soon as it dried up, it was a little bit different to what I'm used to. Um, the characteristics of the car are actually quite exciting. Throughout the two days I did, both at Phillip Island and Winton, we did a lot of tyre testing and uh, we didn't really tune the car for either of the day. So considering we didn't touch it at all, the setup at all, it was uh, it was pretty good, pretty exciting. The, the bit that was probably most impressive and the biggest difference to what we're, the current platform we've got here um, is just the first two segments of drive, I think. It, it gets out of the corners a lot better and uh, it's quite exciting. I, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the two, day and, two days and uh, quite excited to head into uh, you know that platform in 2013. And with your team owner's hat on, it's going to be a big project, especially in 2012, racing the current cars and developing the uh, new ones. 
Yeah, well look, it's um, workload wise, it's already put us under the pump for the last few months, so the guys have been quite busy working on the, you know, the new Car of the Future platform. Um, we've, uh, we've got to the point now where we're quite close to start building the, the chassis. Um, obviously with running the four cars out of Kelly Racing, we need to build at least five chassis for the start of 2013, and uh, for what I hear, we'll be starting testing a mid, you know, midway through 2012, so we've got a big task ahead of us. Um, we've already got a bit of a skeleton crew to run the four cars, so it's going to be a big job to, uh, you know, to build them. But um, it's exciting for the category, and um, you know, everyone's pretty excited to see what new manufacturers are going to join the field in 2013. That was Jack Daniels Racing's Rick Kelly. Cam, should the fans expect different racing in 2013 with these new cars? Oh, I don't think it'll be that much different, Grant. To, to be perfectly honest, I mean, obviously, it's it's a bit of an unknown at the moment, but. Uh, you know, they look similar. If anything, potentially there could be a little bit more overtaking with the 18 inch wheel. Uh, I, I, I'm a believer that if you give a car more grip, it's easy to pass and you see better racing as opposed to the opposite, take grip away, take aero away. So looking forward to seeing it on track and by what the drivers say, I don't think we're gonna see massive changes. The future is here. V8 Supercar's new car will be in action in 2013. You're on the Armour All Summer Grill and we'll have more tomorrow.